Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua once again, returning to our topical weather analysis for this Friday through Monday, December 11 to 14, 2020, and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update. Here is the latest graph set beginning today, uh, December 11, until tomorrow, Saturday. There's no changes in the weather system. As you can see here, the northeast monsoon continues to linger across the extreme northern parts of Luzon, including the uh, uh, areas of Scarborough Panatag Shoal, and accompanied with a frontal system over the Batanis group of islands. So far, that's the same weather situation for the past uh, two days. And we have a surface stuff here to the southern part of the South China Sea, and here across the Vicol region, Visayas or Eastern Visayas, as well as Eastern Mindanao, we have the prevailing warm easterlies, meaning some good weather, except for some passing showers and isolated thunderstorms. Uh, early this afternoon, you can hear some thunder claps, the sound of thunder that's brought about by these easterlies. So far, we don't have any developing LPAs or tropical disturbances outside of PAR, except for this uh, couple of surface troughs, nothing to worry about. And uh, as we look at our latest fast animation, what a quiet Pacific as of now, nothing uh, unusual going on. We have a surface trough here, but it's not expected to develop. And uh, right here, across the uh, Philippine Islands, if we use the wind.com premium zoom in satellite animation, you can clearly see here some isolated to scattered small thunderstorms uh, all across the country, particularly in uh, areas of Camarines Sur and Camarines Norte. We have here at Pasbate. Uh, in some small areas of Mindanao as well as uh, Palawan and the Cordillera Autonom Autonomous Region of the Cordillera Mountain Range, there are some uh, isolated thunderstorms as well. So far, it's good enough. We don't have any disturbance. I hope this will be the same until the end of the year, but there are computer models forecasting uh, tropical cyclone formation by next weekend or uh, yeah next weekend we have here a thunderstorm uh, over the west philippine sea nothing to worry about as we look at our latest uh, global topics hazards and benefit outlook from benefits outlook from the climate prediction center of the national oceanic and atmospheric administration of the u.s you can clearly see here for week one valid december 9 to december 15 there's a possible formation of a um, tropical cyclone for the, for this week. So this is a medium chance, a 50-50 chance that it could develop. But so far as of now, we don't see anything until through December 15. So this is no longer, uh, this, this is not expected to push through. But the above average rainfall is also somewhat not realistic as of now. Now let's turn towards the week 2, valid uh, December 16 to December 22. Still, uh, medium chance, a moderate chance of a possible tropical cyclone development or formation between December 16 to 22. And we are already uh, seeing a uh, pattern on the American model, but uh, on the ECMWF model, it might be a low pressure area, but most likely it could develop into a tropical depression. But we are going to observe this. Let's hope and pray that the computer models won't push through. So this is the uh, latest from the American model. This is from the NOAA, NOAA, okay, showing uh, the track forming on December 17 and tracking across northeastern Mindanao and the Visayas to northern Palawan on the weekend of next okay or next weekend as you can see this is very normal during the time of December a tropical cyclone passing over this area but let's hope and pray it won't happen if we look at our uh, windy.com wind and rain plus pressure forecast from the ECMWF model so far for the next three days Saturday afternoon 
Sunday afternoon as well as Monday afternoon same weather situation same weather condition some afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms will be expected brought about by the warm easterlies the northeast monsoon will remain quasi stationary over the extreme northern parts of the zone now let's move forward on uh, Thursday December 17 so there you go this is a uh, low pressure area based on the uh, European model approaching eastern Mindanao and uh, possible making landfall over the area of Dabo region based on the ECMWF or European model but it could uh, enhance thunderstorms due to the easterlies uh, being uh, uh, strengthened by the La Nina and also over Visayas and Mindanao so the LPA will pass here based on the ECMWF but if we look at the American model it's a different thing based on the forecast from the uh, American model it could become a uh, tropical depression or a tropical storm approaching uh, northeastern Mindanao so as you can see here Friday uh, early morning or Friday late evening it will make landfall over uh, Surigao and will, will, it will bring lots of rains across uh, eastern Visayas so Bicol region is uh, safe so far but it could generate some rains due to the easterlies and it uh, will traverse central and western Visayas on Saturday uh, December 19 so that's the American model just like I said we are going to double check it based on the ECMWF on the ECMWF it's only a uh, active low pressure area crossing Mindanao not Visayas so it's not it's uh, still early to say where it will uh, pass and if it will develop into a tropical cyclone let's hope that uh, it will fizzle out on those uh, models particularly uh, on the ECMWF it, if it won't appear on the ECMWF we are safe but expect a rainy conditions across Visayas parts of Bicol and Mindanao beginning uh, Thursday December 17 until Sunday December 20 because of that possible formation of another tropical cyclone probably the last one let's hope and pray it will be the last okay so there you go that's the latest from Typhoon 2000 this is Mike Potter reporting and we will be returning again on Monday to give you more update happy weekend to all uh, be hashtag uh, weatherwiser hashtag typhoonwiser stay safe always and thank you for watching our channel.